afternoon, I am pleased to announce the the mingling support. So to distinguish us. That's a marriage boy. And we have a Fatima boy. In, 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 the, in the name of Senator Anil Roberts. So we have a nice representative. Everyone's resume is a little longer as we expect. I will try to keep it short, but I can't leave out anything. You want everything? Yeah, we have to give him everything. He deserves it. Everyone that comes is a former footballer in the who played for six years in the North American Soccer League and also played professionally in Mexico. Everett Cummins was a brilliant schoolboy footballer who wasted little time in establishing himself as one of the frontline players of the 1960s and 70s. Although he has been an advocate for years of total football and of the most modern methods, Cummins would have fitted into any system ever played in this country and would have made a national team of any era. If he was young as these guys now, he would have been on the national team. As a boy living in the heart of the city, he made Queen's Park Savannah his second home. He entered Fatima College at the time when he was a footballer at a high mark and the magnificent St. Benedict College side from South Trinidad was rolling over his ribbon. Benedict was killing me. Benedict gets a marriage nine here. We went on so to give him nine again. Everett and Fatima, and he had to be with them, be up on the north guys. You understand? At the tender age of 16. I want you all to try and remember when you're 16. Carmen's got the chance on the national team. He was an obvious choice in the Trinidad and Tobago colleges team that won the Korean Championships in 1966. I was just 18 when he played in the national team in the regional point line round in the Concacaf series in Jamaica and Honduras. He was the MTMT Sportsman of the Year in 1973 and most valuable player during the World Cup qualification preliminary series. Most valuable. In 1974, Cummings was an experienced and well-rounded midfield player as he lined up for the World Cup qualifying matches in Haiti. Now I'm taking a little piggyback on that because I used to play midfield too, eh? With the rod. Alright, cool. Okay, right. In 1974, Cummings was an experienced and well-rounded midfield. Right. Later that year, Cummings joined the Mexican League and played in that country for three years. It was his second chance as a professional and he had signed up in 1967 and 1970 with the Atlanta Chiefs in North American League. Then in 1970 he signed up for four years with the famous New York Cosmos, for whom he became a top player, following in the footsteps of two superstars, Philly and Vance Pokemon. And yeah, yeah, the end game team is still up there. Between 1977 and 1980, Cummins was a member of the Touring Team inside and the Caribbean All Stars Pros. His ambition to play pro soccer at a high level was truly, truly realized as he was the most successful player in this realm he would jump to the ladder today. With his playing days as a first class professional coming up road, Cummings still his eyes to coaching. As Trinidad and Tobago moved their channels towards the World Cup in Italy in 1990, Cummings was appointed as the man to take the national side to the final. But his move did not at once satisfy everyone, but he stuck with his guns and he marched on to Italy. He marched on to Italy. He almost came to fruition when the strike squad missed out on the finals when they lost 1-0 one, one to the United States before they packed the Hazy Crawford Stadium on November 1990. Cummings was awarded the Chaconia Silver Medal, the second highest national award in Trinidad. So I now call on our industrial court, 
Judge Judge Russo. Huh? And I'm asking everyone to come and receive his award.